Hello Clashers, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the recent sneak peeks. This is a official Supercell response from the Clash of Clans Reddit from the man, the myth himself, Darian. It says, October update sneak peek number one. New capital district, Goblin Mines. So, a couple things got released for Clan Capital. There's a new district, a couple new buildings, new defense, new traps. Uh... Apparently, there's a few other sneak peeks. I don't want to get into those because I'm not really sure. Uh, shout out to Judo Sloth, though. He has a video on the new sneak peeks, the new Goblin Builder, and the Clan Capital District. If you guys haven't watched that, I highly recommend it. Shout out to Judo Sloth. <clears throat> number one, one of the number one creators, if not the best, for Clash of Clans sneak peeks and content. So, you know, this video is really good. I reacted to it on stream, but I'm not going to react to it now because I already did. Really good video, though. But anyways... Let's get back to the Reddit post. So, new capital district, which is cool. A couple new stuff in there. A couple quality of life improvements for the game. These are all the stats and stuff. But the number one thing that we want to talk about today, ladies and gentlemen, is the work for hire event that Clash of Clans will have. I believe it's on Monday. Um, so, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is like super dry. So, the work for hire event, basically, it's a seventh builder. So, pretty crazy considering all the stuff in the past few weeks about Diamond Pass potentially coming out and then Darien coming in and saying that it wouldn't be coming out and then it got released in China. So, the Chinese servers, I mean. So, this is interesting now because we do have a 7th Builder coming. <clears throat> Not only do we have a 7th Builder coming, we also have a Goblin Researcher. So, what this will do is it'll allow you to upgrade two things if you hire this goblin researcher in the lab so pretty crazy two things being able to be researched in the lab at the same time along with an extra builder the way it works basically is you can hire them for gems uh if you guys want to look at the reddit post it's right here we'll get into all the details but basically you can hire the goblin builder and the goblin researcher for gems and it's all in this post right here so Pretty much, there was a Reddit post asking for the opinions. A lot of there's a lot of uh, mixed opinions, to be honest. You know, the, this guy says the face looks creepy. It is a little uh, kind of weird for Clash of Clans, but anyways, <clears throat> what do I think about it? That's the real question. Honestly, as a Town Hall 15 player, I don't know if I'm going to be using the seventh builder as much i mean it is a limited time event but if you watch judo's video he does say it might potentially be coming into the game as a permanent thing so <laughs> will clash of clans release a diamond pass in the future who knows but as far as a max player goes there is pretty much no use if you have you know maxed a base and a lab but i mean i can honestly see Number one thing I was saying on stream is what is their core audience that they're trying to target? Maybe it's rush players. I'm not really sure, but yeah, just in case you guys didn't know, it is coming to the game as a limited time event. It's not a permanent thing, but you know, we'll see if they decide to keep this in the game for the future. But for now, it's just a uh, limited time thing. Definitely check out the Clash Reddit Judo's video probably other creators will release more videos and there's also going to be more sneak peeks to come uh by the time this video comes out i'm sure that judo will have another video released so yeah that's pretty much it just wanted to give my opinions on it not really sure how i feel about the whole seven builder situation it's cool but we'll see how it develops in the future uh anyways i stream every single day on twitch.tv slash terminator you guys want to follow me these are all my socials up here, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, my link tree, and of course I'm on Reddit as well. I also have a Discord server if you guys want to join that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you're new, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.